You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out an incredible edibles toy featuring Cookie Cakes by Mattel. This is set number 4575. I'll give you the year as I open it up here because it's inside. There's nothing on the box showing you the exact year. I'm thinking 60s. Uh, but it is one of the rarest sets you can find. Now, if you can find it in the condition this one is in, you're going to pay upwards of $200 to $250 for a set like this. As you can see now, the box features a boy and a girl making cookie cakes together at a giant party. Now, let me show you the rest of the box, because the box itself has got some wonderful artwork and graphics. Look at that. Let me back it up here and bring in some lighting so you can see it just a little bit better. All right, there it says, let's see, bake chocolate or yellow cake roop in the makery bakery, spread on froster roop, decorate with gobble de goop. And then that's everything that's in there. And you can see happy faces because there's pieces that you use to build your little kooky characters. Uh, there's all the ingredients. So one would think from a collector's perspective, you should never open this and never unseal it. But from Lucky Penny Shop's perspective, we all want to know what it does and we all want to know how it works. So that's what I'm going to do today. You see there's little feet, all the utensils, all the mixes are in there. There are some of the kooky characters I can make. We will see how this works. I have no idea. Now, I need to show you inside the box, but that's gonna be a special presentation. So let me move the camera up to a better angle and let's see what it looks like all sealed and original. Now, like I said, if I was gonna put this on eBay right now, I'd probably sell it for at least $225 to $250. Here we go, this is what it looks like original from way back when. There's nothing on the inside of the box and the bottom box is white cardboard and it's in this plastic tray. This is protecting the little bakery uh, oven top. Looks like a little chef's hat. There is already a little hole there, but this was everything that it was when it was introduced. Let's uh, take this slowly here. Let's just see if I can save some of this. The plastic I will not be able to save. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe if I just trim around all of the edges, I can slide it back in. I always like to keep things as original as possible, but something like this that's covered in this plastic is going to be really hard to do. Just finding one that's sealed like this is next to impossible. i got to get under that lip. Oops. Carefully. That was pretty careful. Let's see. Okay, so we can save that. Okay. There it is. Unsealed for the first time. It looks like they even have this screwed into the plastic. Hmm, let me grab a tool for that. I mean, ultimately, with these kinds of sets, it's always nice to find two of them. One that's complete and original and one that is not. So that you can maybe not open it, but we're too far in to say anything other than let's give it a whirl. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so the packs themselves, let's see. Still perfectly soft, no issues that I can see. To open, cut to top, cut top corner. There it contains sugar, cocoa, vegetable shortening, non-fat dairy, dry milk, salad, starch, salt, vegetable gum, artificial flavor. To frost one cookie cake. That is the cookie cake icing. Then we have the cookie cake icing in vanilla, so chocolate and vanilla. We have cake roop, and they're still very soft. There's plenty of cake roop. Okay, that's the chocolate it looks like. And then we have lots of vanilla cake roop. Cake roop. 
kind of figure out the nomenclature for the naming there, but I guess that makes sense. Cookie. Roop. Okay. Then we have this gobbledygook cherry. Uh, let's see, still soft. Cinnamon. Wow. We have two feet with real toenails, it looks like, and then two goofy feet, look like bird feet. We have this uh, knife, like butter knife, of just a regular old cheap plastic spoon. We have this, a, that's a spoon, and then some kind of like tweezer attachment. We have what you're actually making your cakes and stuff in, a little pans. Because this is an electric oven, so you got to plug it in. There's that. Some more little feet. Now these are all sets of two. This is the only one that has a little piece of tape on it. Let me take the tape off now. I'm going to do as much as I can with you on video with this set. So I'll definitely make chocolate. I'll make vanilla. I'm going to do as much as possible. Ooh, there's their feet. Another set of feet. Now it looks like we've had some spillage in here. Here's a, maybe a little stand. It says Cookie Cakes by Mattel. Uh, this looks like it had lost a few of its little pieces in there. And then there's this Incredible Owls Decorator. Uh, looks almost like a silver confetti. And uh, here is the actual oven. Okay, so there you go. Here is the Cookie Cakes by Mattel. So that's it for the tray. And then there's this just a white insert underneath holding that all together. Nothing in there. Just check to be certain. Okay, here we go. Caution, this is an electric unit. As with all electric unit units, it is dangerous to pour water or other liquids into it. When your heater is new, the heating chamber will smoke five to ten minutes the first time you turn it on. This is perfectly normal. Remove this slip of paper before plugging cord into outlet. So it looks like, oh, there's another little piece. There's another little piece. I'm not sure how this all works just yet, but as you can see, pretty cool little character. Oh, there's a piece of cardboard in the back. This takes the cake. 1967 Makery Bakery. Now, isn't that one of the coolest little ovens you've ever seen? Let's get cooking. And on the bottom, the heat vent down there. This is 1966 Mattel. Uh, this is filled with cold water to line before inserting hot mold. So there's a step there, a step there, and now the booklet. Cookie cakes here. Case. I'll do this now. I'm gonna stop here, kind of see what I need to gather. Probably just liquid water. Okay. There you go. And that's how you design and decorate them. So that is the base for the cookie feet. Okay, so it looks like there's different little spots you can put the feet in to support your cake, depending on the foot you're going to use and how close they can be together. Almost had a hiccup there. We like to introduce a new member of the Incredible Edibles family. We call it Cookie Cakes, a fast food new way to make deliciously funny cakes. Every day is a party day with Cookie Cakes. Cookie Cakes are made with new cake roup. The instant cake mix that just needs water to make it ready to pop in our new Makery Bakery oven. In five minutes, a cookie cake is ready for the cake stand included to be decorated with everything from frosting to bird claws or eyes or ears or wings made of gobbly goo de goop and much more. We are sure your children will enjoy the many ways to make cookie cakes kooky. Like all Mattel products, every aspect of this toy has been carefully child tested so children will quickly learn to use it successfully. Cookie Cakes is another safe, durable, workable toy backed by the quality reputation of the world's largest toy maker. We hope Cookie Cakes brings you and your child as much happiness in its use as we enjoy in its creation. Note, Cake Roop and Froster Roop are food products and can spoil if not stored carefully. Store open pouches and finished cakes in your refrigerator. It's wise to wash your hands before you start to handle or play with an incredible edible product. Okay, you see it all now. Let's get started. All right, here we go. I have wash what I needed to wash for this step. Now there were two baking pans. This was the shallower pan and then this one they call the egg pan which is a deeper pan. Look at the difference in depth. So I'll do one cake in each 
And then, well, this needs water in it anyway. So that says fill to the line with cold water. Okay, because you're gonna put your pans in there to cool them down quicker. All right, so let's get this out of the way. I've left all the other stuff in camera here just for fun. Now this is a little handle, so you pinch the end, and this is how you take it in and out of your oven. See, it's a nice little bonus handle there. Okay, there we go, there we go. Let's mix. Now the cake mix almost looks like you're supposed to, um, it's almost like a putty it looks like. It doesn't say pour, and you're, you're packing it in. This is a little loose, I wanna see if I can. No more. Okay, good enough. So, let's see, they got this twisted really nice. Almost too nice to get out. Let's get it through this one first, then this one. All right. You think I would have done that, but I have not. This, this is the coolest looking oven, the way it's almost metallic like. Okay. Sorry about that. I think we're going to put the oven there. So let me do this. Uh, I probably should have had this all done. I got tools in the way, screwdrivers, bottles of cleaner, supplies. And then on the right side of my station, I have extension cords of varying lengths that I use specifically for this situation. So here we go, all the way over here. Now, plug it in. Now, I want to do this now with you to see if we get that smoke that they say, and then I'll know. We'll know right away. Let's get this here. Now, let's get my temperature. Before we start, give it a reference. It's saying about 71. So let's see what happens. All right. Step one. Water level mark. Check. Pour water to mark. Remove cardboard from back of oven. Plug in makery bakery oven. Empty f package of cake roop in mixing bowl. So let's do that. I'm going to try to save the packaging. It says, well, there is a perforated line there. But just to help it along. Okay. Enter package. To open, cut top corner. I'm going to try to preserve the packaging. Now, I'm definitely not going to eat this one. I'm using the cake mixes. Mm, they smell like previous mixes that I've had, but look at it. It's almost got like a little crumbly look to it. All right, already making a mess. Let's get that all out of here. There we go. And then some water. It says, large end. Fill large end of scoop with water, empty and mixing bowl. Still stir until all crumbs are damp and not lumpy. Now it's an interesting spoon, the way they design it, so it lays flat. So one scoop of water. And then stir. I smell something a little fishy. I think that's the oven starting to do its thing. Whoa! That caught me off guard. Hold on. That was a mistake. Let's save it. Sorry about that. I guess I'm slightly nervous about this. I, I'm i using a set that's quite rare. I'll be a little more cautious. Let's clean this out. I mean, guess with any kind of baking, you're going to have stuff that gets on your countertop. Doesn't it always? All right, so let's just see. Okay, leave that like that. Everything seems to be wet. Stir until all crumbs are damp and not lumpy. 
Empty all cake group mix into the pan. Okay, so let's start with the egg pan. Well, it shows the short one. Let's do the short one. Make sure it's even at the top. Okay, so uh, make sure it's even at the top. So basically they show you pressing it with the spoon. They don't make any mention of it about being too much, don't put it all in, how much to put in, so. There's still a little left over. I'm always wondering, you know, am I doing it right? That's the first one, so we'll know by the second and the third one what's going on. Okay, I have it pressed pretty tight there. Let's clean off this edge just for aesthetics. Okay, let's get all this out of here. So there is a little bit extra. Let me just feel this. Yeah, it's pretty tightly packed. All right, now let's check the oven temp. It's 219 now. Okay, press all cake root mix firmly. Okay, that answered that. I didn't read it correctly. I know, I look back at some videos and I go, well, it's obvious what you did wrong there. It's obvious what, you missed the picture. I just did a video yesterday and my question was answered already on the packaging, but I don't know, I just sometimes you, your eye doesn't see everything that everybody else sees. Okay, so let's clean up now. We got that set, I will clean up, come back and put this in the oven. Okay, so after it said, press all cake root mix firmly into cake pan, make sure it is even with the top of the pan. I would say we're pretty close there. Is that even? That's pretty even. Use handle to put pan in makery oven. I did find that a little tricky. All right, now let's get one last temperature. I did heat it up for another like five minutes with the lid on. So 276. All right, so put this in here. All right, there you go. Five minutes. Timer is set. Start. I will open it up in, say, I'll check it out in four minutes, 45, one, four, 15 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, so it does not show you anywhere in here if you use the egg pan to do it any different. It's a little deeper, so, hmm. I thought, well, I have two minutes left. Let me get the next chocolate cake ready. I'm gonna make one of each flavor one of each size. So there'll be one chocolate egg and one vanilla, okay? And then one scoop. So basically, I just can't get over how cool the cookie cake oven is. What about you? Okay. Basically, it's like a crumble, right? If you're making a crumble crust. So is it more of a cake or like a crumble? Trying to be more careful this time. What was the set? I think it was the Dr. Dreadful set I was doing. I just had the purple bowl and I hit the bottom and everything flew everywhere. In 10 years of making videos, I still get a little, ooh, is it gonna work out? It better work out. This set especially. I've been holding this set for over a year to show you on video. And today was the day. It's pouring rain. Thought, hmm, got some time. That's probably all in all, me two to three hours of um, time.
Okay. I think that is good. They didn't tell you to put any sprays in the pans. They didn't tell you to butter the pans. Just so you know, for reference, if anybody's wondering. Now don't be shocked. You have one minute before. Ooh, careful. The alarm goes off. Okay, 37 seconds. I'll try to stop it so you're not freaking out like I would be. When it goes off, I always get, ooh, that caught me off guard. Now, I was able to pack as much in that little one as this one. I just haven't given it the, the final oomph to kind of bring it down. Here we go. Ooh, this one's pushed out funny. So you got to be careful here. Hold my hand there. Okay. I missed it. Here we go. Five minutes. I didn't see any difference. But then you take it out and put it in the cooling tray. Okay, let that cool. So that's perfect time for me to finish this, right? And then I can get it right in the oven. So I'll make four cakes in total. Now my guess is they want this flat because this is going to sit on top of the feet. The feet have, there's a little hook. Ooh, watch his toes. He's got weird looking toes. Uh, feet, uh, I, okay, the top, bottom of the cake goes in these little pins, which are going to hold it in place. I almost want just a flat tool like this to kind of, there we go. Okay, perfect. We'll just leave all that stuff there. We'll get the other one. Okay, it's not too hot to the touch. It's already cooling. Let's get this one in. Oh, I tell you what, let me clean this off. I'm trying to keep the oven as clean as possible. It's hard to do. Okay, so another five minutes start I will clean up come back I will not start the vanilla cakes I want to get these two chocolate ones out so we can assess and check out how they hold together okay so I just wanted to give you a reference timers about to go off the top of this is about 93 83 there oh there we go let's pause that the bottom is about a hundred so it's, it's hot enough to give you a little sting. You know what? Let me put a paper towel down because it's going to be wet. Ooh, my instruction booklet. Okay, I can't tell. If it's anything other than uh, like a warm. But it's definitely not hot. Okay, so that goes in there. So I'm going to wait on the, whatchamacallits, the vanillas. Let's see now if we can get this one out. Yep, not hot to the touch at all. So it says, use handle to take pan out of oven. Put pan in cooling tray until cool. To get cookie cake out of pan, loosen cake around edges, turn upside down, tap bottom. It just seems crumbly to me. I'll tell you what, let's just tap it upside down and see if it stays together. Here we go. OK. 
Okay, so it is definitely heated somewhere. Let me just go around the whole edge and do this kind of. So maybe it's just a little crumbly now because it baked. I don't know. I almost need a flatter tool than this to see. All right, let's try. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't break apart everywhere. Nope. Let's tap on something a little bit more aggressive than that. Okay. Not yet. All right, time for a better tool, I think. I don't want to break the edge, but I feel like it will if I try to force this down into the pan. All right, let me grab something a little skinnier and smaller. Okay, so I found this. It's a little skinnier and there's no edge on it. So let's see if this will slide in there better. It's definitely, you feel it as you're going down into the pan. Okay, now I think it's ready. But I'm gonna try this a little bit different. I'm gonna hold the pan on it and flip it over this way. Okay, hold on a second. Off camera, I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll take it like that. You know, I know I'm not sure, maybe it needs to bake more. Definitely not coming out. There's crumbs coming out. Oh, so we got some of it. All right. I think it's a little too crumbly. But let me just see if it's something that you can put back on. No, nope, I'm going to leave that one. Will it stay together? Probably, but let's see. Let's do the next one. So what could that be? I don't know. Maybe bake it a little longer. That's probably what I'll do on the next vanilla one. Okay, let's just see to touch, not bad, now this one is thicker, come on cookie cake, I definitely don't want to make it moister, this then it'll for sure stick, Let's just see if we can work it down a little slower. Oh, that one seems better. Let me do it in my hand. Ooh, okay. Ooh, they're delicate. Ah! Wait. Nope. There, let's just see if we can reshape it back in here. Okay, so what we see now is they are very, very brittle. Okay, let's try the vanilla ones and I'll keep practicing. Maybe I'll get it just right. Next one I'll bake a little bit longer. All right, forging ahead. I am not giving up, of course. Here's the vanilla packs. It says yellow. There's the backs. To make one cookie cake, okay, empty contents in mixing bowl, fill large end of spoon with water and add. Stir until all water is thoroughly mixed. Put mix in baking pan, press down cake root mix until it's even with the top of the pan. Use handle to put pan in. Okay, so I'm making sure that there is no additional directions there. Now I'm Gonna hope it's yellow, but we'll see. Well, it is. It's almost, almost the color of the bowl. See that? Okay. One scoop. Mix and move on.
This time I did it on the cutting board so I can get all the scraps out better. I mean, I could still decorate those two, but they're really dry and brittle. So is it baking more or baking less? That is the question. I'm just going to bake it the way I did it. Maybe add a minute onto the first one and we'll see how that goes. I might want to redo a chocolate one. See if I can perfect it. I'm getting better at this, huh? I don't want to, well, I shouldn't have said that. Now it's going to fly everywhere. You almost just want to take a full something and push it straight down, right? Looks like a rolling pin on top of that. It is a cool process though. If I was gonna do this, you know, with ingredients from current ingredients, new ingredients, I might just use like um, a breadcrumb crust kind of thing. Because breadcrumb crust, they hold up pretty good. Okay, I do want to press it again, so I'm going to get this, do this this time. This time now I'm pushing it away from the edge as well. Okay, let's check the oven. Make sure it doesn't do one of those turn off things where it turns off after so much time. 316 now. Hmm. I'm not going to do another one until I see how this one turns out. Okay, I'll clean up and come back. Okay, so that has been little over five minutes now i wanted to do something with this chocolate cake so i'm gonna let that sit in the oven for another minute well however long it takes me i just wanted to break it i'm gonna have to remake one anyway so here's a good chance to see how it if it if it stays together all right so it's crumbly but it does seem to stay together so let me remake the small one i'm gonna leave that one that one's not too bad i mean you know how decorating goes you can cover that up right all right, so it's been over five minutes now. Let's take this one. And then I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I should try some cooking spray. Because in 67, that might have been about when cooking spray was invented. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to let that one cool. It seems moister, doesn't it? All right, well, we'll see. I'll we'll check back after it cools down. We'll take it out, and then we'll make the second one and the chocolate one. I know it's going to take some time, but I want to get it right, and I want to go through all of my options. Okay, here we go. Time to get this one out. I'm thinking to myself, you know, why shouldn't I be able to use a little cooking spray? Now, 67. Hmm. I think cooking spray was actually invented in the 60s. So... May or may not have been available. Now I unplugged the oven temporarily because I had walked away. So I'm plugging it back in. So it's ready to go on the next cake. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get you right in on this one. Let's see if we can get it to come out. Now this baked just a little bit longer. I 
I do think with these kid sets, if you have to go to such great lengths to try to get something just right, it's got to be pretty challenging for the littlest of the kids. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of... This one seems better already. Success! Okay, I don't know what I did. So you might be asking yourself, well, why does he have to show us every single mix? Why can't he just do it all off camera? Well, because maybe you saw something in the first two that I didn't see. Maybe I mixed them a little longer, maybe I mixed them a little shorter. I don't know. So I'm going to make the deep one now. This time, I'm going to take a little cooking spray. I'm breaking my own methods just to see now when was cooking spray invented so like 1960 something i'm pretty sure maybe the late 50s okay let's take this beautiful looking ah no i'm just kidding cookie cake Does he have to show us every single step? No, I don't. But that's how I've always done it. So that's what I'm used to doing. There's times I tell myself, all right, I'm gonna cut all this out. And then I go to editing and I say to myself, no, I can't cut that out. No, oh, I don't wanna cut that out. No, I don't wanna cut that out. By the time I'm done, nothing gets cut out again anyway. They're not gonna know what I did there. They're not gonna know what I did here. It almost seems like this one works just works better than the chocolate. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Okay. So, I'm going to do something a little bit different too. I'm just going to try pushing it all down like that with my hand and see what sticks. Not much. That's quicker. Quicker and easier. Look at that. Beautiful cookie cake. In my makery bakery. When was there a commercial to this too? I don't know. Okay, let me just clean up this edge. All right, I'm gonna come back now. I'm just gonna do another chocolate one. I'll do one chocolate just to just to do it one more time. This almost seems moister than the chocolate one. I don't know. Let's see. I want to make sure I got the right temp in here. I had just plugged it in before I started. Okay, 280. That's pretty good. Get my timer set. And start right about now. Start. Okay. All right. Let's just mix up the chocolate one while we're here. Now, normally I'd wash all this down, clean it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still got to make all the little component pieces. Now that's that gobble de de goop. De goop. That's what you use for that. 
and that gets baked in the oven as well. It's like almost like a hard candy of sorts, it looks like it anyway. Okay. My my mood has changed as you can tell. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm also really making sure I overtop the spoon. So, well, let me give you a little history. In the old days, when I'd have a budget and I'd spend money on items like this, I knew I would eventually make it back just in the video revenue, all right? We all know these videos make revenue. But now, a video like this will probably not make its revenue back. So that's why i kind of been holding this set. I don't know, I'm just thinking, well, maybe it's better off I just sell it to get my to recoup some money. You know what? I'm going to add a little more water to this. This is like the last time. It just doesn't seem as moist as it did uh, the vanilla one. So I'm going to break my protocol here and put another half of scoop of liquid. Maybe it's just the age drying out of the a little better. See the vanilla really stuck nice to the sides. I knew, I thought, all right, that's it. Yeah, there we go. I think we got it. Actually, I would like to add just a tiny bit more water to make it closer to the vanilla. I know what you're all saying to yourself. Stop adding water. Like Easy Bake. I've always said, Easy Bake, don't add more water to the mixes. It always looks like it's not enough. Okay. I'm happy now. Okay, there we go. So as I was saying, yeah, times have changed. Just not like it used to be. So I have to be very cautious of the budget. I've got a very, uh, actually, I don't have a budget anymore, believe it or not. That's how it's become. Just being honest. I'm gonna just spray a little bit on my hand and push. That seemed to work really well. Look at that, barely any on there. Okay, so this seems definitely nicer and moister than the last time. Flatten her out. Now what do we have on that other one? We have 46 seconds. Perfect timing. Okay. There we go. I'm just biding my time. Alright. That's done. That's done. I, you know what? I almost want to make one more chocolate one just to get them all right. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, timer. Ten seconds. But what I'll do is I'll let it go a little bit longer, like I did last time. And timer goes off right about now. There you go. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get the stopper topper. I mean the grabber rabber and the cookie wookie. Now you don't really need to handle to place that in there, but oh, let me do one thing. Let me take another temp. 266. 273. 283, okay. Different spots. All right, I will be back. And then that time I'll mix up another one. I'll tell you what, I won't do that one on camera because I think I've got it now. And then I'll have that one in the mold and I will bake that one and have beautiful cookie cakes. I'll be back. <laughs> like I said, I'm not recording this. You're not watching this right now. This is not really happening. Okay, just so you know, it's a figment of your imagination. Basically, almost two. That's what I did last time. Let me bring in my protective board. Why do I have a feeling the next one's going to pop out? Just wonderful. Okay. Now remember, I originally said just do it so there were no lumps. And all the particles were moist. I don't know if I used the word particles, but there we go. Just for fun, I'm going to use my little tool. I'll tell you what, though. Let's just change. Let's get a whole new camera angle on it. This is the one with the pan. Look at that. Perfect cookie cake. I have 45 seconds. Okay, I'm done making cakes. Now I gotta make all the little side pieces. A second. I know you probably always say, well, that's disgusting. But bakers use their hands all the time. Mm, can't save that. I could save this though. Oh, let me wait to see what's left as I go through this. Okay, pause. Let's just get the spoon, get some of this started. I put the some of the scrap back on. I wipe the cutting board. My counter. Oh, that little thing. There we go. So, what is your overall assessment so far? I always like to hear your feedback. That is like perfect. Okay, let's get that other cake out. 
Otherwise, we are set. So now I gotta figure out the gobbly goop. Let's see if our first chocolate cake came out just right. Let's get the next one. Ooh. I gotta wait, I forgot. It's hard to do with one hand. Pinch closer, that's what it is. Okay, okay, final cleanup. I'll come back when they're both cooled down and I'll take them both out and then I'll do the uh, next step. Okay, so what I read was the next step is actually the frosting. So let me get these two out. And then I will move on to that step. It just feels so much better now that I've made some changes. So if the chocolate comes out good, then of course the cooking spray, always a benefit. Nice. That's where my knife probably dug into the side. I can actually pick it up and move it. Let's get this one in here. So I'm gonna say, uh, much better, successful. Oh, look at that one. Oh boy, look at that. Would y'all look at that? Look how beautiful that one is. All right, so stop handling it. Come back now and do the frosting. Woo, it's working. Okay, next up. Froster hoop icing. Open froster hoop pouch using large end of spoon. Put four level scoops. Oh, wait, yeah, no, there we go. Four level scoops. Okay, I thought I had to put the cookie cakes on, but not yet. So here we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Four level scoops. Okay, seems powdery and still very usable. Uh, I was going to put it in other bowls. So it's easier for me to do leveling than out of the bag. Now, it's very. Uh, crunchy, it looks like, in regards to it's, uh, yeah, crunchy. Let's just get it softer here, break up the little pieces. Oh, I don't know. That was just from the last one. It's been five minutes since I took it out of the uh, oven. Four level scoops. Here we go. It doesn't say how many cookie cakes this covers. So mix until smooth and creamy. I know I had the water. I'm just kind of breaking it up a little more. Now that I got in a better vessel. Okay. Now, using this end, the small end, it says uh, add two small spoons of water. Here we go. One, two, and mix until smooth. Okay, sorry for that quick jerky motion. That looks like one cookie cake. Still, there's still tiny, tiny little bits, but you know, 
just short of putting the mix in a sifter of sorts or going to the next step and trying to really powder it, I'm going to leave it. Okay, that looks like one cookie cake. All right, put cake on base. So let's take one of the chocolate ones and let's put it on the base. And we'll set on those little spikes. Okay, so now my cookie cake is set. Use knife okay, to frost cake. It's If frosting gets too thick, dip knife into warm water before spreading the frosting. I think we're okay, so let's get this on here. Mmm, nice vanilla looking frosting. Okay. Now we want to get all the way around the edges, don't we? So I'm going to make a camera change so you can watch. And then I'm going to keep going here. Okay, cake number one. Let's do the next one. New approach. Let's see if this works. But sure, making it really fine. Look at that. But that would probably take a very long time to get this to go through this. I think my mini sifter is all show and no go. Still fun to try. All right, so let's just scratch that. But I wanted to try it anyway. So you could say, hey, you should sift it. Yes, I know. I don't have the right well, you would use a big person sifter for that, too. And for four little scoops of this, I'm just going to go with what I got. There we go. Four. But this time I will go even longer to powderize it. Now, you only have two bases, which is sad because you've got so many feet. But you could just put the cookie cakes on little plates. And if you're having a cookie party with some cookie friends and you want to make cookie cakes, some people are going to have to use a cookie plate. So that's why I'm going to make the cookie right on the cookie board. Mm. Looks a little bit more. It is a little better. All right. 
let's get this in the cookie center. I think everything now is just going to be cookie. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, it's always going to be cookie. Cookie, 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 cookie. Ooh, not too fast. <laughs> Looks like a cookie turkey breast. Right out of the oven for Thanksgiving. All right. <laughs> that is the next one. Let me grab the chocolate frosting and do those. Maybe I'll just double batch that one and uh, make them both at the same time. Okay, I am ready for the next one. Did I show you the front of the cookie frosting? That is really cool. Look at that character. We'll call it uh, almost like toys that they're making now, the little Shopkins and stuff like that. Little characters, huh? Way ahead of its time, the Froster Roop cookie cake icing. Now I need to double up, so let's do this. Let's cut this open. Okay, now this one is nowhere near as chunky. Well, maybe it is. I spoke too soon. The stuff on the top didn't seem too chunky. Let's just see. Okay, it breaks apart easier. Good. Oh, already making a mess. Double up. So we're going to do eight scoops of this. I'm trying not to pack it and just kind of level it. One. Three, four, now four more. One, two. Wow, did I almost get enough in that first pour? Three. really close. Four. Okay. Now four scoops. Oh, yeah, tell you what, I could break this up, but push this down a little bit more. Now I'm going to frost two cookie cakes. Woo. I'm pushing my cookie limits with my cookie cakes. Okay. Four scoops of raisins. One. Two. Three, four. Mix it on up. Ooh, look how nice it is. Turn the beautiful chocolate. Let's see, peaks? Well, let's mix a little more. That one came out mucho better. All right, so we have the flatter one on. Let's do the egg one now. Okay, so we gotta get this on this. Let's get this out of here, this out of here. Clean this all up. Some got stuck in the handle. 
Okay, there we go. Just want to make sure I get some. That one's flat, so that can sit there. It's falling. I think that's coming out super nice. They're gonna get decorations on them. So that's still a whole nother step, which involves the oven. I, You kind of put it in the oven and then you cook it and it makes these hard candy-like items that you add on to your cookies, cookie cakes. Would have ever thought. I might touch up the other one. I want to. I'm gonna go over the edge. I want a nice clean line. A little bit more on that side. Okay, I'm going to let that one set. Oh, come on, I had the perfect, well. I think there's a point where you just leave it. Don't touch it anymore. And I'm not there yet. Okay. I would think you'd want to do this off the base so that you don't get your frosting on the cookie base itself. To try to keep it neater if you're going for the perfect cookie cake. Okay, I'm good with that. Okay, clean up again. I will come back and I will do the next step, which is the oven. So I'll plug that in and I will be ready. All right. Here we go. How to make gobbly goop decorations. Gobbly de goop decorations. Okay, gobbly de goop is most delicious when you mix it before you open the tube. So I think they kind of just want you to do this kind of thing. And I've been doing that. It's been in my hand. I kind of been moving around, warming it up. Press tube near the, okay. Turn tube upside down. Press tube near the spout a few times. Fill mold with gobbly de goop. If mix is thick, spread in mold with plastic nut, okay? So let's start with this. Here we go. The smell is really good. It smells like a really strong cherry candy. This is the cherry. Let's just see. Okay, it comes out real nice. I might have to make a bunch of these, so let's just stay with me here. If you're watching this video and you have to leave, please try and finish it. Or come back to it because if you just watch part of it and leave, that hurts the channel. Now, I don't think. Oh, yeah, there's more in there. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, now baking. Let me do. Now it feels like it's thick. See, that's changing. So maybe now I'll mix it up a little bit more. It says when it first comes out, it's shiny. Well, that's exactly what it is. I might not be able to get much. Let me see. I'll just keep mixing and using the tube the best I can. Yep, I think we're out of luck on this. Okay, I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. Let's see if I could squeeze this out and get a little more in this. Okay, now it's thicker. I'm going to put as much as I can. In. Probably could also put it in warm water, right? 
Now, being that it's a metal tube, it's hard to use. It's not plastic. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to get. Let me get some hot water. Put this one in the oven first. Now, it says it starts off clear. Let's see. If mold, Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Use handle to put mold in oven. Take out handle. Close it. How to tell when gobbledygook is done. Gobbledygook looks shiny when you first pour it in mold. When gobbledygook is done, it lost its shine and looks dry all over. Gobbledygook will also have a thin white line around the outside. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's just bad. I don't know. So there's no real time. It's a very strange design handle. You gotta just kinda get it just right. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, sneak peek. It doesn't seem like it's doing much. So maybe, my initial instinct was, oh yeah, put it in something, mix it, and then use it. So let's just see. I have it in hot water now. Let's see if we can get more of this out. See, that doesn't look clear and shiny to me. Okay, there's only one way to get this out now, sadly, and that's to destroy the tube. We've gone this far. That's what I'm going to do. See, it's like a sugary, thick sugary, see that? All right, let's do that for now. Let's take this out. I'm going to mix this all up again. Let's see if I could save this. And then I'm going to take the stuff that's in the oven now. Let's see how hot it is. That just looks too clear. You know, at first I thought, hey, that's the way it's supposed to be. But now I'm thinking, nah, that's not the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, let's mix it up now. I think we're getting it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray the molds. I think getting this hard sugary candy out might be difficult. That's a little warm. It's not so hot. It hasn't been in there too long, but I'm going to be careful. Now I have a little spray bottle with water in it. Just come up and do it right here. I want to use the same mold. Okay. Okay. Redo. Let's get those sprayed. Just like. Okay. And then let's mix this up again. Okay, here we go. That looks better.
I know I'll get these two shapes for sure. Just didn't overspill here. Let me see if I can just move it over to the perfect. A little bit back. Okay. All right. We might have saved it. Put one of these in the oven. It is still shiny, so maybe this was the way it was supposed to be. Keep checking back all right so it's been five minutes i poked it just a little this one here you see it's starting to get a little white around the edges i think it's almost like a sugary candy yeah it's still mushy i see steam coming off the top it's very unclear but i think it needs to really dry out here's the instructions there's no times there's no nothing it's when it's lost its shine it looks dry all over they show it here almost like it's bendable as it's coming out of this shape using a toothpick of course you got to cool it in the cooling tray which i have ready to get so i will check back in another five minutes it's been five already i will check back again hit the timer start okay that's about 10 minutes it's steamy hot i don't have a reference so i don't okay so now that has moved into it's a little harder now but it still doesn't seem totally dry so let me let it go another 10 minutes almost Maybe 15 minutes per batch. We will see. Start the timer. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes almost, about 30 more seconds. It's starting to look a little white on top. You see that. Let me see if I can move this around and see if I think we got it. Oh, look at that. That one came right up. Okay. So it's got some stiffness to it. Let's take that one out. It's really steamy. Ooh. Ooh, wait, don't, don't fall in. It's almost too skinny of a tray for the cooling tray. Let me take some water out of this. That was close. You hear what I mean about the way this thing works? You need a... Okay, so I'm gonna go 20 minutes on the next one. And then I'll take them all out of the tray. And then I'll do the second one just like I did that one. All right, timer, 20, start. I won't check back on this one, I think I got it now. And then we'll just continue on with the process. Okay. It's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna take this as they are ready to go. So let me take this one out. Put this one in and then I will uh, come back once they're both cooled down. And then I am going to do the next flavor, which is the cinnamon. Did you hear that sizzle? Ooh, is that hot? Okay, so the next flavor, that's been, now I had this one soaking in warm water for quite a while. It's hard to tell. It feels better than the other one. This one says cinnamon, so I'll be back. Okay, let's see how this is going. Now remember when I said two to three hours? I think I'm into this four hours now. Of just time, having to do other things, stop and go. So let's see, it's going really good so far. I'm happy with it. Okay, so what does it remind me of? Uh, like plastic almost. Yeah, it's got a nice solidness to it. It's like a gummy. Look at that. So it's a rubbery kind of gummy substance. Comes out real nice. I'm very happy with that. There you go. Those are my decorations. Yep, so 20 minutes is perfect. 
some nice lips and a hand. That's why when they showed the hand being pulled up, that's what it is. It's like a, it's like a cooked gummy almost. All right, so moving right along. I don't even know where to put this. I got so much stuff on the countertop. Okay, same procedure. I'm going to do exactly what I did last time because that worked. Okay. My gobble de goop. De goop. Now it's red also, so there is no real color change here. Ooh, look at that. That's pouring right out. And squishing out. So the heating really helped. And I did it twice. So this one's had quite a bit of time to make itself gushy. And it smells really good. It's the cinnamon flavor. I'm wondering why they gave you two reds, you know? Okay, here we go. Let's get a nicer perspective here. Let's get this out of the way. I'll use the oven in just a second. Let's bring this in here like this and let's make it happen here. It smells like Red Huts. The candy Red Huts. Now it did say, if it's thicker, you can spread it with a knife inside the little shape. I like that. Well, that was neater the first time. And I'm not rushing, I'm just... doesn't seem to come out as nice as the first one. Ooh, that one's good. Plus, squirting out of the tube is definitely going to be easier than... What I'm doing now. Just want to make sure I have enough. I tripped. Okay, the rest will go on this. I might need a little more. See if we could squish out. It's like toothpaste. Okay, so technically speaking, this will be another. 40 minutes of baking. And I will keep checking back. For sure. I put that in the water. Now, there's nothing else I could tell you except thanks for being so patient with me. I haven't even given you a secret word in this whole video. I've been so involved in trying to work. Okay, the secret word if you've even made it this far, is now gonna be chiclets. How's that? That's a weird word, chiclets. Ever had chiclets gum?
see you in 20 minutes. Okay, now interestingly enough, a couple things. One, my frosting is totally dry, so I'm not sure how they expect you to decorate it after you do this, and why they made that step three, and the gobbledygook step four, I don't know, because I'd rather have the frosting soft to decorate. Then here it says how to put cookie cakes together. Turn case, cake base upside down. But here they said put cake on base. Okay, so it's kind of like, hmm, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? way back in 1967. Okay, so let's see how these peel out. I have to say, they look pretty pretty cool. This is the cinnamon flavor. Ooh, nice. Nice lips. So I'm wondering if I might have to wet them now to stick them to the actual frosting. I will say, a little reversed on how I think it should have been done. Nice little hand. There's your hand. Okay. So I'm done with the oven. I'm done with all the shapes. I made everything in duplicate. There wasn't much more in the tube, so I don't know how much more you can make without having to buy more of your gobbly degoop. Now, I wanted to show you the back of this one. It says, made of glycerol, modified tapioca starch, sorbitol, which I believe is a sugar, sugar substitute, and you're not supposed to eat too much of that. Uh, you can actually, uh, well, I don't know. Carrageenan, lecithin, potassium citrate, sodium saccharin, and imitation colors and artificial flavors. Gobbledygook, like other candy, is not intended for use by diabetics. A lot of stuff in there. Last one. Here are all my wonderful shapes. I'm going to move everything out of here now. I can actually clean this stuff up and begin the process of decorating my already dried frosting cakes. I'll be back. See, now they do show the cookie cake looking like it's not on the base. So I think you could do that. And these floppy things were ears, so you're inserting those in to the cakes themselves. So let's get the feet here. Let's just set up some cookie cakes. Now, I like this, and I like these feet, so, oh, and it stays on. Push that in, push that in. There is cookie cake number one. Yeah, the legs don't, the feet don't stay on too well. Okay, and then let's do, now I said you could do as many as you want, so I'll just do two more feet. See, I really think the feet should have been on the first place before you even put the cakes on there. And I wouldn't have even decorated the cakes on the bases yet, but how about we just carefully slide that one over. Okay, now we have two more sets. So let's just see, do you think they will... Ooh, careful, that is still a little soft. Let's see if you can push them in. No, not easily. It looks like you're gonna have to do some surgery Pre-drill. Oh, that one just broke. Okay, so that is something you don't want to do. Oh, now things are falling apart. Let's see, maybe I can salvage it. Nope. Okay. So putting the feet on after the cake is made is not going to work. Look at that. Just crumbled apart. Now it's been a couple hours, so... Maybe it's just sat too long, so let's not decorate those. Let's leave this one as our taste tester. 
Now, let's bring this one back in. I think, too, I'm going to leave the sprinkles because they're not going to really stick on there very well. Let me, get, let me see if I can slide some ears and a face on this one here. I figure, all right, just wet the back slightly and see if it sticks. Okay, not great, but it's still there. Let's see if we can put a floppy ear on each side of this one. Now I'm gonna have to insert, let me use this, this into here. Yeah, everything is just gonna be too dry. Okay. I also have to peel some out to get this to slide in. Do you want to stay? No. Hmm. Well, this part so far has become a fail. Now I've dug out some. Oh, okay. Ear is in. Let's get an ear on this side. I'm just worried about cracking it. So cut out and then scrape out. Oh, ear number two. Okay, now f mouth, let's see if we can get this back on. Get this a little mushy here. Let's get this going this way and see if we can just press that in. Okay, now we're gonna put two eyes, same system. I'm gonna stick one there. There is cookie cake, numero uno. Okay, let me bring the vanilla one in. Okay, get it? There's my cookie cake. Slide you there. Let's bring in cookie cake number two. Let's get this out of the way so I can slide them right in. Let's clean out the area. Okay, so these are little horns. You think I'm gonna get the horns in? Let's try. Make an incision on the top of your cookie cake head. Boy, I'm getting a little messy here. You don't see what's off camera, but there's all the scraps and pieces and yuck. <laughs> I wish it would just push in, but the cakes have sat for so long. Well, here's what I'm going to say about this. Now, if you're six years old or whatever age this was recommended for, are you really going to go to this detail to decorate your cookie cake are you maybe we got to think back to the 60s and what kids were doing back then compared to what they're doing today well I gotta put the squishy side in but that makes it backwards there we go okay there's his horns let's give him this face okay let's wet that I mean, it really should be on the front, but I think you get the idea. How am I going to get the hands in there? I wonder if I can lift it up now. Let me see. Kooky hands. There we go. Kooky hand on this side. Let's call him Mr. Kooky. Okay. 
They are pretty kooky, let me tell you. Now let's just put these right on the top. I don't know. These are must be some kind of like ears or something. Yeah, let's see if we can get them inserted here. Take the big chunk out. Hmm, huh, stayed. Not for long. Take a big chunk out. Come on. I mean, this would have been better with wet frosting, right? At least. Okay, you gotta take more out. Not necessarily wet, moist, but just. So if I can use the extra frosting to prop things up, that's what I mean. <laughs> like if I had frosting, I would be packing it in around this little earpiece. Okay, let's give this cookie cake a mouth. And let's just put these little pointy things in here. They're like his fangs, I guess. I don't know. They're definitely kooky. Maybe I can just get that to lay down just a little like this. Let me clean that off. Okay, does that look kooky to you? Okay, all right. My cookies are decorated. Let's now take a closer look at them and then I'm gonna actually try one of these. Yes, I'm gonna try it. I'll tell you why. All right, here's my reasoning now. I've tried almost every single set on video except for maybe one that I can remember recently. Uh, and just a tiny, tiny wee bit because uh, I don't want to come back in five years, ten years, and see in the comments, why didn't you try it? You've tried all of your other sets, and you're right. And that's why I'm going to give just a tiny, wee bit, tiny, tiny, in my mouth. Mm, tastes like, like a dust ball. Okay. I'm not going to try any more of that because it's not appetizing, but I'm going to try a tiny piece of the... Mm, it's like a gummy. But no gummy. Mmm, cinnamon. Actually, cinnamon's pretty good. Well, there are my cakes. What do you think? What is your overall assessment of this set? Well, maybe the second word now getting to the end should be Tickle Me Elmo. Three words. Tickle Me Elmo. That's a lot to type in. So you have your first word. Now you have your second set of words. And if you didn't get to this point, you wouldn't even know what that means when you're reading the comments. People are going to be like, what's Tickle Me Elmo for? Well, I think overall the set was interesting. I have to say that. Are they kooky? They're probably the kookiest things I've ever seen. Uh, you know, besides the taste being horrendous, I think overall, I'm just giving you some different shots here. I put that other one together even though it didn't come out too well. I've learned. I think the oven itself is one of the coolest little... Uh, ovens I've ever seen on uh, and actually made a video of I'll put it back in there one more time Very cool. There you go. I finally did it. Let's get cooking in the makery bakery And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Let me know what you think think you got to think like 1967 you can't think like 2020 you have to think like hmm 1967 that was a long time ago what was going on back then? What were kids doing? Was there video games just coming out, I think? There wasn't much going on. Cell phones? Nope, not really. Maybe a couple people had those really big giant ones, but other than that, yeah, lots of time on your hands, and uh, it took me quite a while. I think I'm in six hours now from start to finish on this set. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.